Ryan Cohen has emerged as a pretty interesting figure as well. Never talk. I did not know who Ryan Cohen was before GameStop. There are people who made fortunes thanks to him. What do you think that Ryan Cohen is doing? I have no idea. Ryan Cohen is a man of mystery. I've never met him. I don't believe I've ever even heard him speak. He doesn't like to show any more cards than he has to. He's a contrarian, independent thinking, independent minded leader. 30 something entrepreneur who essentially took Amazon on successfully and built out Chewy to the great company that is today. Somebody without a college degree can become the chairman of a public company of the scale of GameStop. Came upon newfound fame by being the meme stock king, by being the Pied Piper of Wall Street. And the biggest winner is Ryan Cohen. Ryan Cohen saw dollar signs instead of doom. The Where's Ryan, Ryan Cohen when I need him? He's accumulated fans and almost like a, a cult-like following. My understanding is the Reddit community generally loves Ryan Cohen, hence the moniker Papa Cohen. You'll see these guys reacting to these tweets like they're secret codes. In terms of him being a meme lord, I don't know. If I was Ryan Cohen, I wouldn't want that to be my claim to fame. Ryan Cohen's stake in Bed Bath & Beyond. He's now cash out of his entire position. Bed Bath & Beyond shares cratering 40%. Should you expect the SEC to get involved? It seems like Ryan Cohen is kind of using people to make money. Every story needs a hero or a villain. Ryan very much filled that role. Well, I, um, I have an opinion about this new documentary coming out tonight. And let this be the precursor, because I haven't seen it. It hasn't been released yet. Um, I don't even really want to watch it, to be honest with you. Um, if you look at the narrative that they're trying to paint, Ryan Cohen, he's not college educated, therefore we're following him. We're dumb money, things of that nature. Um, I can read in between all these lines, you know, the innuendo that's put out there as far as Bed Bath & Beyond and failed investments for other people because they went and chased whatever he's putting in on you know, being a meme stock, uh, this this meme lord, as they call it, I mean, he's only invested into GameStop at the moment right now. And he had previously bought other retail companies trying to figure out what they were going to do. But he built Chewy and he did it at a time where his his circle is tight. You know, you have Mark Vadden, you have Larry Chang, you have Alan Adel, and you have uh, Mr. Day. And, and when you really think about what they're doing and what these guys, these these young guys out here on Wall Street, they're trying to make a business model that, that can scale and that people want to buy, right? And the unfortunate problem for everyone out here, like these guys, CMC, like the timing of what they're trying to do, they're trying to instill fear into investors, as in to say, this guy's about to rug pull you. This guy's going to, he's going to lead you to the water. He's going to drink and leave. Um, I don't see it that way. You know, when he built Chewy, and he sold it off. It was at a, it was at the largest amount ever in the history uh, of transactions for an e-commerce company, and three point two billion dollars. And that was huge for him. And he took that money and he flipped it and did it. But my thing with everyone out there who's afraid to invest, you know, whatever Ryan's touching and or to badmouth him, like so many have. You know, I see the meltdowners out there. They say things. He's gonna leave you. The rug pulls coming. Whatever. I'd be like, I, I could care less. The thing is this. He came into GameStop. And he made it better. Even today, if he were to leave today, it's better than it was before. But there's still so much. There's so much runway left on a company that's transitioning and pivoting that two years is not enough to sit here and do a doc like they're doing. But the timing of it, the night before earnings, who can you shake off? Who can you scare out of this stock? Good luck. Good luck. I mean, you guys have already thrown so many punches. And I'll tell you. You spend more energy throwing punches that miss than you do for the ones that hit. So keep swinging for the fences, all of you. All of you naysayers, all of you people that just want to come out with negative, 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 nothing positive. Hey, how great is GameStop, guys? Honestly, they can make a profit, sure. They can show you they're headed in the right direction. But think about how Wall Street visions GameStop, like looks at it. They have them banking on losing $36 million this quarter. The worst quarter statistically for GameStop annually, yet they want them to lose $36 million and they hit projections on Wall Street. Okay, so we just got to beat negative 36. What if we don't? 
Is that is it all doom and gloom? Is it the end of the world? No. Are we not factoring in macroeconomics? Are we not factoring in the world? Or are we just looking at stock price and price discovery? I don't care about any of that. I believe in GameStop. I love the gaming company. I buy it for my children. I play video games myself. And of course, Ryan's added value at this point. But we have great leadership. And there's more than just Ryan there. Matthew Furlong has been doing great for the last two years. The team is great. The leadership's great. And then, of course, you, the shareholder, you, the gamer, I trust half of you guys. No, I trust you guys, man. I really do. I think everyone out here is looking at it the same way I am. There's infinite value here. Infinite value for us. And of course, like Cosmic would tell you, infinite risk for them. But I'm not worried about market mechanics. I'm not worried about who's short on the stock. No. I just want to see a balance sheet. I want to see a great quarter after quarter after quarter. And the positive, because it's a positively run company. We're on the eve before earnings, guys, and I'm so excited. But when those numbers come out tomorrow, I'll be, I'll try to stay in control. I'll try to be in control of my emotions, but we've been here for over two years. And it's been nothing but success. And for every misstep that we've had, we have other announcements to offset them, i.e. not making the same mistake twice. So with that, good luck. If you guys want to watch it, I'm, you know, more power to you. I can't stop you from doing that. But just know, I feel it'll end up being a hit piece. It'll end up being a piece that's trying to tear down exactly what they're building. But it doesn't matter. Because GameStop is inevitable. Remember that, guys. And for me, it's GameStop always in always. GameStop. Can't stop, won't stop. GameStop. I'm going to see you tomorrow, millionaires. Peace.